Hello and gents, Ro here, and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials, and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to export audio only. I've noticed that I haven't had an audio only tutorial yet, and uh, I know it's a recent update that it's actually introduced this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that by opening up iMovie, and we're going to jump straight into uh, our Normal Films event, and we have a project here named Other. Open that up, and as you can see here, we have two audio lines, one here, one here, and then a blank um, clip. You can have actually a clip here if it's got audio in it. You can use that audio within that clip. But for example, I had a blank clip just so I can get the second line of audio. Let me go ahead and start fresh and show you guys how you can do this. For example, as soon as you um, open up a project, you'll have this uh, your footage line and you'll have this audio line down here. Your, your initial audio, if you just have just audio that you want to export, go ahead and drag it in here. So in my case, I'm going to go to my sound effects and I'm going to just find find something that I can <clears throat> use from my sound effects if it loads here which shouldn't take that on long on so there we are so let's just go to effects and let's just drag this nine second impact metal hit actually no let's find something uh we need something with sound there we go got a smash class I guess that's only two seconds though let's find this okay we got a chainsaw 50, 50 that's a pretty dangerous sound right there. Okay, chainsaw, 55 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and drag it into our initial, or you can even drag it up. I mean, it won't let you initially drag it up the top. It'll only let you put it in the audio file, I mean location. And as you can see, now we got a 55 second audio file. with just the actual uh, chainsaw sound. Now, for example, let's say you wanna get another audio in there. For example, somebody talking, like your initial sound, you wanted maybe sound, I mean, like a song, and then and this, and then you wanna like, <laughs> I said and then a lot, but you wanna have uh, another clip up here with somebody talking in the background, for example, like an interview. So what we're gonna do is, um, for our interview, we're just gonna pretend, uh, let's go back to normal films here. And uh, for our interview, let's just pretend it's going to be just this, just our standard background, actually. I'm going to put that in. For example, it has audio, as you can notice. Nope, it doesn't have audio. But let's just pretend that your initial clip here has audio in it, and uh, it's an interview of somebody talking. You might want to boost up that audio by going up, like by using this bar right here, or you can select the clip and go into this little... Um, sound button and changing the audio as you please through here as well but we're just going to keep it at uh, what I just changed it to which is 132% and this is this is playing as our original audio the interview itself and then down here we want to have a song in the background for example so I'm going to delete that chain sound <laughs> sound and we're going to just put in a song let's search for uh, sound no let's, let's just go to instead of uh, Effects, we're gonna go to jingles, and here we are. We got a nice uh, 14 second 44th Street short. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down here, and let's say this is somebody talking. I'm gonna play it and see how it goes. Two sounds together. Now, as you can see, now we have the two sounds there. Well, just for example, um, and the sound for the audio, I mean, for the song is way too loud, so we're gonna lower that. But going to the bar, I'm going to make it like, let's say, 16%. Now it should be a little less. Now you should be able to hear your person talking. Now we have this audio, and uh, let me just grab another one here. Let's say you, you can get a third one, and this is another song. 11 seconds, we're going to drag it right below the actual uh, footage, not into the audio pane, otherwise it will move it or take it out. We're gonna put it right underneath the other one. Now we have basically three three audios. If you want, you can have your initial audio of your clip, your underneath the audio itself, and then the audio that's within the actual audio um, location. Now we have three audios playing if we don't mute one of them, and that could be quite uh, loud and distorted as well if you. <laughs> if you don't play around with the sound and make it the way you would like. But yeah, adjust the audio as you please. And then also you, you can go to, you can right click this and you can go to detach audio. And now you have three clips of audio. Actually four, I mean, yeah, three clips still. Cause now this has no audio. You got your original, the audio that you added and then the row end, which is from this audio, which is what you detached. Now you just put it here at the bottom. And then also you have your 
at the very, very bottom, you have your original audio as well. So that's a lot of audios. And let's say you want to export this or you want to add additional audio here. Um, you would be able to, you can't just simply drag it here. You got to actually have footage of some sort right here. So let's say you have audio that you want to put down, but you don't actually have footage. We'll going to go back to normal films. We're going to add a blank. This is just an image file. So I can simply drag it and make it as long as I want. And uh, let's go back to our sound effects. And we want to drop this barbecue blues long. So we're going to go ahead and drop, drop that. And now you can see we can drop it underneath or in the original file. We can drop it underneath and now we can put it right here next to the Alliance. And now we have more audio as you can see right here at the bottom. So yeah, it's good to have like a blank. And then once you export and you want to export only the audio, go to share, go to file. So share, file. And instead of video and audio, we're going to go to audio only. That wave, uh, most most standard audio is MP3. So we're going to change it to MP3. Shows you the size right here. You can see that you can see this footage here. Just ignore that. It's only going to be audio only file at the end. So audio only. We're going to hit next, and then we're going to choose our destination where we want to export it. Mine's going to be straight my, to my desktop. That way, it's easy to find. For example, if you export and you can't find your file. Just go up to the top right hand corner here to that little spyglass looking icon and here you can search it up wherever you name it for example mine's going to be named audio only i'm going to save it to my desktop go ahead and hit save and it'll go up to the top right hand corner here showing you a little progress bar of how it's exporting it'll say it's exporting other writing audio only a notification will pop up exporting other was successful and it was only about 47 seconds long so that's why it took it went so fast go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and hit and now you should be able to see the audio and hit the little play button And there we have the audio only file. From here you can import it to iTunes, export it, uplo upload it to YouTube. I'm not actually sure if you can upload that to YouTube. I don't see why not, but other than that, it's that's it. That's it. Audio only. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. Let my life be the proof. The proof of you.